This morning, the mother of the youngest victim in a station station fire talks about her loss. And later this week, a local station will air the documentary on her son's shortened life. Well, Buteau joined us with the family's remarkable story. Some would say that Nikki O'Neill refuses to let this be the last time we saw him. When this fire happened, I couldn't even believe that the sun came up the next day. The sun did come up, and this young artist lived on. Even before a play Nick wrote was put on stage by his family, before his brother created the documentary 41. Impossible for me to look at this movie objectively, but it's just absolutely beautiful. There were signs, the number 41 appearing everywhere, once during a musical surprise involving this Mother's Day gift from Nick's brother. That uh, musical horse right there, Mother's Day, after the fire, started playing by itself at 941. There are the twinkling lights. Just as I walk under the light, flicker, and then stops. And I know that he's just checking in. While taping another story about Nick, an unexplainable single word caught on tape. I thought that that was absolutely something that Nick would do. I could clearly hear action. Because he's sort of a smart aleck kid. He is. He is. <laughs> and, he, and he would do things to surprise people, make people laugh. There's this picture taken two Thanksgivings after Nick's death that captures some sort of an image behind Mrs. O'Neill. Take a look right here. The detail is absolutely amazing. Even if you're skeptical, it is obviously the shadow of some sort of a sweater. Explain it. <laughs> he just kept saying, here I am, here I am, here I am. And here he is in 41. From little Nicky to the young man with beautiful dreams that suddenly ended. But his time as a brother, a son, will go on forever. I always knew what he was thinking. I always knew what he was feeling. And I, and I believe I still do. And joining us this morning is Dave Kane, who is Nick's dad, to tell us more about this movie, 41, that's actually going to be airing on PBS this week. First of all, tell me about this, 41. You say your son was obsessed with the number 41. Yeah, he, he really had a thing for the number 41. He'd get in the car with me, say, Dad, look, it's 241. Or he'd see a license plate, Dad, 41, 41. Yeah. Well, we didn't know why, and then when he passed, he was 18 and 23 days, 41. The station nightclub is at latitude 41.41. The fire call box at the station is 4414. So you feel like you've found all of these signs that point to your son and, and his interest in this particular number, and that's what the documentary is about? Well, it's part of it what it's about, but okay. after he passed, all of the signs that we've gotten from him and continue to get, some you saw just now in the piece, mm -hmm. and also we've gotten feathers and pennies and music and, and coincidence that it would just drive you crazy and it's been wonderful. It's been wonderful and he's letting us know that nobody goes anywhere. So and that's loved what, ones stay with so us. So that's to what you credit this uh, the all these signs as you call them. Oh sure, absolutely. It's a sign it's a series of signs to let us know that nobody goes anywhere. We lose nobody. Christian uh, O'Neill, Nick's oldest brother and Christian De Resendez did a terrific job. Chris O'Neill of course videotaped Nikki mo almost constantly in his life. And we're seeing some of this video now. You say he was a very talented artist that he only took a couple of uh, a couple of guitar lessons, and yet he wrote about fifty songs. Yeah, he, yeah said. he wrote fifty songs. Uh, his band Shrine, of course, uh, was supposed to open for Great White on the Friday night, mm -hmm. and Nick went on Thursday to, to check out the room, and that's why he was there. And, and that's when he passed away, of yeah. course, mm -hmm. and became the youngest victim in the Station Nightclub. That's fire. right, as Nick would say, famous for all the wrong reasons. Mm. Is there a place that uh, this, of course, will air on PBS? Is there a place where you're selling? The, the DVD? Yes, it's can? airing uh, Wednesday night, 8 o'clock at Rhode Island PBS, but they can get it at 41themovie.com. 41themovie.com. Dave Kane, it certainly is very interesting after seeing Walt's piece and some of the things that you described. Thank you for, very much for, for telling us a little bit more about your son. Well, thank you for particular. giving us the opportunity. We appreciate Dave, it. Dave, thanks Basically. for being here. And of course, as uh, we mentioned, 41 the Movie is airing Wednesday at 8 p.m. on Rhode Island PBS. And if you'd like to see the trailer for the film, just head over to foxprovidence.com. Time now.